Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 30 of the chapter Equilibrium. In this video, I am going to solve two solved examples of the topic the pH scale. Coming straight to the problems, this is question 7.16 of your NCRT textbook uh, solved examples, just uh, along with the topic the pH scale. I'll explain these two examples to you which will help you understand the pH scale better. The question reads that the concentration of H positive in a sample of soft drink is 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter or capital M means molarity in moles per liter. What is its pH? Remember whenever you are solving numericals and there is a question that is asked of you that what is this, what is that, whatever is asked the first thing should be for you to define that thing. You should remember what the definition of that particular thing is that has been asked of you. Because once you know the definition, you know what is expected of you. What is What should you know to arrive at this answer? And once you find out the, I mean, once you know the definition and you find out what is given to you and what is, uh, what is required, you would know how to come to what is required in order to come to the answer. Why I'm saying this is that in many questions you will have the hydrogen ion concentration given to you and there would be questions like the other one, the next one that we would be doing where the hydrogen ion concentration will not be given to you. So the pH scale, the definition of pH is the potential of hydrogen or the power of hydrogen. It is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. So what does the question read now? It says that the concentration of hydrogen ion is given. That is what is required. What we need to find out pH is the hydrogen ion concentration. So if you have been given the hydrogen ion concentration, this question is a simple one. It is the most basic kind of question. All you have to do is, is find out the negative log of this hydrogen ion concentration and when you're not given the hydrogen ion concentration then you are required to first calculate the hydrogen ion concentration and then proceed to finding out its pH by finding out the negative log of that hydrogen ion concentration which we will be, will be doing in the next question. So let us first solve this question. The concentration of H positive in a sample of soft drink is 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar. What is its pH? We know that solution. We know that pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration or the hydronium ion concentration. And the hydrogen ion concentration is given to us which is, so you would minus log of what is the hydrogen ion concentration? It is 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar. And if you remember, it was the activity. So uh, the pH does not have units. It's only uh, a value on a scale because it is you find out the minus log of the hydrogen ion concentration divided by moles per liter so that the units get cancelled out. It is the activity of hydrogen actually. So it has no unit. So we'll just write the numerical part of it. So it is the minus log of 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3, which means it is the minus log of 3.8 plus the log of 10 to the power minus 3. You can write this in this way right which would be equal to the minus log of 3.8 or rather the log of 3.8 is 0 0.58 minus the log of 3.8 is 0 0.58 and the log of 10 to the power minus 3 would be minus 3 if you remember the log of anything to the power of uh, 10, whatever is the value is the log. So minus 3 is to the power of 10, therefore the log is, log of 10 to the power minus 3 would be minus 3. Now, which would be equal to minus of, solve these, minus 3 plus 2.58 would be equal to, this would, uh, 0 0.58 would be 2 point something. So this would be minus, 
and the value would be minus and since 3 is negative therefore this is larger so it will be a negative value and how much would that be it would be 2.42 minus 2.42 and the minus minus get cancelled therefore this would be 2.42 is the value right so what did we do we were given the hydrogen ion concentration we wrote down, we found out the minus log of that hydrogen ion concentration and the rest is just mathematically solving the problem. So now we'll come to the next uh, part of this, the next question, that is question 7.17. What does the question read? It says that calculate the pH of a 1.0 into 10 to the power minus 8 molar solution of HCl. Now, what is pH? You're supposed to find out the pH. pH is the hydrogen ion concentration, minus log of the hydrogen ion concentration. But what have we been given? We've been given the molarity of a solution of HCl. We know that HCl is a strong acid and this HCl is dissolved in water. So what is, we have to now, we have not been given the hydrogen ion concentration and we are required to calculate the hydrogen ion concentration. In order to do that, we must know what reactions are we looking at here and what reactions are going to be contributing the hydrogen ion concentrations in the solution. The first thing is that HCl combines with water to give you H3O positive plus Cl negative, right? This is the first reaction, the dissociation of hydrochloric acid in water to form the hydronium ion and the chloride ion. And we know that HCl is a strong acid. Therefore, if you put any amount of HCl in water, almost all of it, or rather all, we believe that all of it dissociates because it's a very strong acid. So all of it dissociates and therefore this concentration should be, if this was HCl was one mole, then you will have one mole of hydronium ion and one mole of chloride ions. But if the molarity of HCl is this, then it means you have these many moles of hydronium ions. So here we assume the hydronium ion concentration for this reaction is 1, H positive concentration here is 1 into 10 to the power minus 8 molars, moles per liter. Okay, so this is the concentration of hydronium ion or H positive or H3O positive. You could, it's one and the same thing. It can be used interchangeably. What is the other reaction that is taking place here? The other reaction is that water itself, I told you, that water reacts with water, one of the molecules acting as acid and the other acting as base. And water has forms H3O positive and OH negative. Right? Now, we do not know how much, what is the hydronium ion concentration in this reaction at equilibrium? Why don't we know? Because if there was only water, then we know at 25 degrees Celsius, the equilibrium, the Kw, that is ionic product of water, would have been equal to H3O positive into OH negative is equal to 10 to the power minus 14. This is something that we already know. So if we know that it is 10 to the power minus 14, what is the hydronium ion concentration? The hydronium ion concentration, also we are aware that the ionic product of water remains constant. And if you add an acid to it, if the H3O positive is affected, the OH negative would be affected in such a way that the product comes out to be 10 to the power minus 14. The ionic product remains the same. Therefore, now, whatever is the hydronium ion concentration due to this reaction, it has been changed. This much of it is added to it. And if it is added to it, also we know in this reaction, the hydronium ion and the OH negative. OH negative is being provided only by this reaction. So the concentration of H3O positive and OH negative of this reaction, the concentrations are equal. So let us assume that hydronium ion concentration here is X then OH negative or let us say that X molecules of water X then OH negative would also be X. The concentration of hydronium ion and the OH negative ions would be equal. 
Now, since these concentrations are equal, what would be the concentration of hydronium ion at equilibrium along with HCF? Now, the concentration of hydronium ion at equilibrium, this equation would change now, would be equal to 10, 1 into 10 to the power minus 8 plus X. Because this amount of hydronium ion is added to it into and what is the concentration of OH negative it is X and the this product is equal to 10 to the power minus 14 right so now if we just take this part as the equation we get a quadratic equation here how we let us multiply this you will get 1 into 10 to the power minus 8 X into X plus X square is equal to 10 to the power minus 14 and from this what do you get that x square plus if I ignore the 1 1 into 10 to the power minus 8 x minus 10 to the power minus 14 is equal to 0 this gives us a quadratic equation and when this gives us a quadratic equation, we can solve it for the value of x. When we solve this for the value of x, x comes out to be equal to 9.5 into 10 to the power minus 8. 9.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 is the value of x. At equilibrium, what is the concentration? The X is the concentration of what? At equilibrium, X is the concentration of OH negative. Because the concentration of H positive at equilibrium is 1 into 10 to the power minus 8 plus X. So when you find X, it means we have found the equilibrium concentration of OH negative. So this is X we can say is OH negative concentration of OH negative is 9.5 into 10 to the power minus 8. Therefore, you can from this you can calculate P OH negative. Just as you what would P OH negative be? It would be the negative log of 9.5 into 10 to the power minus 8. You will solve it in this way and the value for this that you would get would be equal to 7.02. POH negative will be 7.02 and now we know that 7.02 plus whatever is the pH should be equal to we know that the POH plus pH together it should be 14 if you find the pH of this also so this would be equal to 14 if you find the uh, pH or rather find the P values for potentials of all of these or negative logs of all of these values 7.02 plus pH should be equal to 14 or pH of the solution should be equal to 14 minus 7.02 which would come out to be equal to 6.98 that is the pH of the solution so did you see Basically, in order to come at the, to find out the pH of a solution, you must know the hydrogen ion concentration in the solution. And the hydrogen ion concentration is either directly given to you or you have to find out, you have to calculate the hydrogen ion concentration and arrive at your answer. So that's all for today's video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.